I'm so happy that we are involved in the 830 High Beam, which is beginning now, and uh, it's a special one today with two guests. We've got Jody Salvo, who is the coordinator of Empower Tusk, and uh, a guest with her, Mike Hoover, who we will explain who that is in just a little while. So, uh, Jody, good morning. Good to see you again. And uh, Good morning, Brad. How are you doing? I hope you get to enjoy a little bit of the warm weather before oh, it absolutely. turns on us again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it... It's um, a pleasure to have uh, well both of you here, of course, but um, there's a reason why, and there's an event, which is tonight, which makes it so um, pointed that we we talk about this. So you're within Power Tusk, which formerly was the Anti-Drug Coalition. So yeah. um, what is going on? Then? So I'll tell you what, Brad. First of all, thanks for allowing us to come today, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. this is wonderful to just kind of share with our community what's going on in yes. Tuscarawas County. So Empower Tusk received some funding um, to really work on stigma reduction with mental health and addiction. So we've had the privilege um, to work with the Quaker Cinema the last three Monday nights and just host community events. So we had three awesome, well, we had two awesome movies. We have one coming up tonight where we invite the community in. You get to watch a great film tonight's a wonderful documentary um you get free popcorn free soda there's resource information um but there's an opportunity to not only learn but then we have a guest presenter each night Mm -hmm. not long but someone just to be able to share their own experience with the issues that we're dealing with so the first night it was addiction and the movie was four good days in my goodness Everyone needs to see it because you can see the struggle with addiction for the person that's struggling. No one wants to be addicted. Right. And you can see the impact it has on the family. So amazing movie. We had a great recovery speaker speak that night. We had a mental health movie last night, the solo or last Monday, the soloist. And um, and it kind of talked about mental illness, kind of an extreme, the movie, um, a national film, mm-hmm. great movie. Um, but then we brought in a local person, Percy Gardner, executive director of Rainbow Connection, was a professional baseball pitcher for the Indians, and he kind of brought in his experience with mental health challenges. Um, So to help, you know, the community understand issues and then normalize them and and realize these challenges we face in life, they're normal to all of us, you know. But tonight, I'm super excited. Um, We have a movie that a documentary called The Anonymous People. And it really showcases the 23 million, over 23 million people in long-term recovery in the U.S. That's 10% of our American persons are in long-term recovery. I was just going to say, try to try to imagine that number. You, you have a hard time yeah, getting your head around Yeah, 23 million, that. one in 10. Yeah. So this is the deal. We all hear about addiction. We all know someone struggling with addiction. It has ravaged our communities, but we don't talk enough about recovery. Mm -hmm. And this movie kind of gets into why we don't do that, but I think we're gonna see a lot of our recovery community show up tonight. And I think I would, I just, I want community members to come to see the power, the potential, the lives changed, what's going on. And this is where stigma reduction happens. When you start to learn about addiction and then you realize treatment and recovery works and then you see this emerging recovery community here in Tuscarawas County doing amazing things. So for that, I just want to encourage people to come out tonight. Quaker Cinema from 7 to 9, free popcorn, soda, amazing time with people, resources. And with that, we can shoot this over to Mike Cooper because he's going to be our presenter tonight. Mike, welcome in. Pleasure. And you and you live in the community. That's so cool. I, I do. I'm right here. Yeah, right here in New Philly. <laughs> so tell us uh, about... Uh, what your title is, I know I know you're ready for that, and uh, you know why you're going to be here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm the State Outreach Director for Smart Recovery USA. I'm also in long-term recovery myself for alcoholism and clinical depression, dual diagnose. And um, I'm a veteran of the United States Army, uh, and my, my uh, involvement with recovery started in 2017, battling alcoholism and clinical depression for over 20 years. And I've been all over the spectrum with it. Um, and it's, it's led me down some very dark paths, and it... Uh, I found recovery through uh, the VA, and that's where I got introduced to the program I'm involved with now, Smart Recovery. And since then, um, not only have I been successful in managing my addiction disorder and mental health issues, but I've 
wanted nothing more than to be able to pay that forward to the other to other individuals who may be suffering who may not know about the the availability of the multilateral approaches recovery has to offer and i think that's something that tonight's movie is going to be very very focal on is that there are possibilities out there for every single person struggling with addiction what uh, jody mentioned about the 23 million people that are suffering from uh that are in long-term recovery that's the diagnosed population yeah. you know what i mean and that's something that also we don't uh, talk about because of the stigmas that's involved around addiction and what that looks like. And um, a lot of people are afraid to come forward that they're dealing with these issues from repercussion, ridicule, or judgment. So what we are hoping to do with events such as what we're doing tonight at the Quaker um, is to start to break down those barriers and let people know that it's not shameful. It is not a point of weakness. This is something that millions of people, not just in our country, but around the world, have been suffering from for a very long time. And we don't have to suffer alone. And you don't have to suffer without any chance of rehabilitation because there, it is possible. I'm living testament of that. I was someone that believed that it wasn't going to happen. I was someone that believed that how I've been living in addiction was how the rest of my life was going to be and i was absolutely wrong and i am glad i was yeah. <laughs> obviously i wouldn't be sitting here right. so i want to make you know my i wanted to make it my goal to be able to do that every single day for the rest of my life to allow as many people as possible to know that recovery is possible and we to do that like jody mentioned uh i want to start turning the focal point away from addiction. We know about addiction, or at least we think we know about addiction, but the the topic of recovery isn't mentioned enough in this society. Mm -hmm. and, and what that looks like, the beauty of that, the strength of that, the courage of that, the empowerment of that. And I think what uh, the, tonight's documentary is going to focus on is exactly that. Show how loud that voice is of the recovery community and how people, everyday people can get involved and be a part of that. And I'm very very much looking forward to doing this. And I think coming from a person uh, like you, yeah. you, you can have some empathy with uh, someone else who's suffering, but they can also maybe feel a little bit more, uh, not like you're talking at them, but talking with them. Right, correct. And that's and that's what we want to make sure that we, we, we get the point across correctly, is that this is, this is something that is exactly what we're saying it is. It's communal. We want to make mm -hmm. sure that we are all one society, whether we are suffering from it ourselves or we know someone who's involved in it or we just want to help. Everyone is a part of this and everyone can make a difference in this. You know, it's it's just about opening our eyes, opening our ears and listening to the people that are involved in this. And whenever there's an opportunity to be able to speak or spread the word about recovery awareness, um, I'm always always game for it, mm -hmm. which is what I do, uh, which is why I do what I do. It's, it's, it's more than just a profession for me. This is a calling. This is what I feel like I was, I was put on this earth to do. And I'm very, very proud uh, to be a part of this with Jody, uh, Ohio Guidestone mm -hmm. and Smart Recovery. So this is a great opportunity. And I got to say what he said, and maybe you can want to talk about that. This doesn't just involve the person who is recovering from addiction. It, re it involves everybody who's around them, related, friends, uh, have any kind of relationship, right? Well, I'll tell you what, um, just a couple things. I think when someone comes tonight, they'll really be inspired. And from all levels, whether you're still kind of struggling, maybe you're still in active addiction, maybe you're in early recovery, maybe you're a family member, maybe you're a loved one, maybe you're a community member that does not understand these issues fully. But the beauty of our recovery community, and I see it all the time, they are a people that want to give back those are lives changed forever and my goodness we have so many community problems right now we're coming out of a pandemic we have mental health challenges you know we have you know increased substance use we have addiction we have increase in suicides but if we can really tap in to our recovery community who are people that are committed to giving back um, my goodness, we can change our communities. And I, and I think that as a community, recognizing the value and worth in each and every person and really being able to celebrate recovery. And I think the more we talk about it, the stronger we're going to be. Um, just the stronger we're going to be. Yeah, I can't agree more. I cannot agree more. Well, I got to say, in meeting you, Mike, you, you bring in a positive aura. I, I could tell when, when <laughs> you stood you. up and we shook hands that, you know, you were all about... Uh, positive energy well i i mean you know what's funny you say that because i was never if i if 
people back home in North Jersey were listening to you say that mm-hmm. they'd be laughing like themselves out of the seat because I was I was never associated I was never someone that was associated with positivity and believe it or not that word used to bother me um, because I I didn't have the perception to see good in my life because of my addiction so one of the things that I learned from smart recovery is how to you know adjust you know your perception of things so that it works for you rather than against you so I started to look at my life as being aggressive rather than positive because regardless if I'm in a good or bad mood if I'm suffering from my my you know my depression or anger anxiety or if I'm having a bad day I can still move forward mm-hmm. so it's I'm always progressive and that's what I try to do and me and having the opportunity of coming on today on the radio and doing this tonight with Jody is is another step forward and 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 may the goal is to to help you know anyone who is looking for answers in in their addiction disorders or anyone who's looking to help the uh, recovery community and hopefully we can achieve that tonight so that's what I try to and you know I try to to illuminate that every single time I come into an opportunity like this and bring that progressiveness out wherever I am so well, we're gonna have to tell those that. old yeah. people that you have had a life change yeah <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, (laughs) dealing with Mike and a a lot of my friends in recovery community, you will be inspired. And you know, recovery doesn't mean just the absence of using substance. It is a life change, you know, and and a fun, fulfilling um, life. Recovery does not have to be work. And that's the other part. It's not a consequence. It's not a failure. It is a a sense of empowerment. And I am living proof of that. And that's another thing that I really, really hope to to show tonight is that recovery is enjoyable. Recovery is, is not something to be ashamed of. And I'm, I'm proud of that fact. Yeah. And I want as many people to understand that as possible. So hopefully we, we get to reach some ears tonight, not only from that, but from the show to this, this yeah. afternoon. So. Hey, and we want to thank Mike Ernest for allowing this uh, Quaker cinema absolutely. to be Absolutely. Mike oh, yeah, is absolutely. a phenomenal judge. Awesome. Ernest yeah. is a wonderful partner. Yeah. So that's at 7 o'clock tonight. You probably want to get there a little bit early and make sure you get the seat you want. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both of you, thank you so much, Jody Salvo. And uh, Mike Hooper, uh, am I saying that right, Hooper? Hooper, Hooper, like Hooper with an H. All right, all right, <laughs> for being here tonight, uh, today, and being there tonight as well. Thanks, okay, Thank we you, hope Brent. to fill Appreciate up the theater. Awesome. That's our uh, eight thirty high beam this morning here on the BT Morning Show.